Hello, good morning everyone. Today, let us discuss about the one very very important reaction that is Riemann-Thiemann reaction. Riemann-Thiemann reaction. Okay. So in this reaction, phenol reaction with the chloroform form CHCl3 plus three moles of aqueous aqueous KOH aqueous KOH in the presence of heat then formation of then formation of salicylaldehyde then formation of salicylaldehyde plus three KCl plus two H2O so this is the Riemann-Thiemann reaction. For this reaction, phenol reaction with chloroform in the presence of aqueous KOH and heat, then formation of salicylaldehyde. Okay. For this reaction, we will discuss about the mechanism. How salicylaldehyde will be formed? In this reaction, what is the electrophile? This is a, what type of reaction is takes place? Everything we will discuss now. Okay. Right. Mechanism. Okay, step one. In the first step, chloroform CHCl3 chloroform reaction with the aqueous KOH. Aqueous KOH. So in this reaction. OH which can accept the proton from here proton OH without bond okay and uh, this potassium accept the chlorine with bond chlorine with bond this step is very very important so in this step you see C carbon hydrogen leave from here without bond mean this bond nothing but we can make one pair of electron and chlorine which is liberated along with bond means at the particular orbital of carbon the orbital of carbon is vacant so it has this carbon is one orbital is vacant then it has two chlorine two chlorines are formed so in this reaction this is the very very important electrophile which name is that dichlorocarbene dichlorocarbene so in this reaction which is a electrophile this reaction they are asking every time for competitive level in riemann thiemann reaction what is electrophile in riemann thiemann reaction what is electrophile every time they are asking you remember dichlorocarbene ccl2 which has one pair of electron, one vacant orbital. Next, we will discuss about the step 2. Step 2. Okay. So, in this reaction, you take phenol. Okay. See, here, you take the inter, uh, electrophile. Dichlorocarbene, see this benzene pi bond which can accept the CCL2, donate the bond to the vacant orbital. Then formation of an intermediate carbocation, it will be formed. Carbocation, it will be formed. Carbocation, it will be formed here, here, carbocation. So, the next step what happened now? This carbon has one excess of pair of electron which can accept the proton. Then the bond shift inside. Okay. So, then formation of See, this product it will be formed. 
which is for the reaction with the actually this reaction with the three moles of aqueous koh one koh is utilized remaining two oh are there so here i am taking two koh i am taking here okay so from here kcl it will be eliminate then formation of ch oh oh so this compound further heating then liberate the water molecule okay so then the bond shift here then formation of c double bond o h so this is the salicylaldehyde salicylaldehyde and tell me what is the ipac name of this compound 2 hydroxy iupac nomenclature 2 hydroxy hydroxy benzaldehyde 2 hydroxy benzaldehyde it will be formed so this is a reamer team reaction so once again remember this is reaction is best example for this reaction is best example for electrophilic substitution reaction in this reaction mainly two points is important the points are first one in this reaction what is the electrophile electrophile is a dichlorocarbene next reamer timer is a reamer timer reaction is a what type of reaction reamer timer reaction is a electrophilic what is that electrophilic electrophilic substitution reaction electrophilic substitution reaction and sometimes they will raise the question in reamer timer reaction what product it will be formed salicylaldehyde otherwise two hydroxy benzaldehyde that you remember okay so this is the information about the reamer timer reaction okay thank you thank you bye is yes,